Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I'm going to tell you some secrets about my productivity setup solutions. So if you want to go portable, probably this video will help you. But before diving deep, there will be a section that you see all these hardware from tabletop shot style so you can have a better idea how they look and then you can get back to the rest of the video. That section probably will be two to three minutes. So you're going to see the entire setup and we're going to continue. In this section of the video, we're going to take a look at the hardware that we're going to present in this video and try to give you overall look from top down, like many of the, you know, tabletop shot style. On the left, what we are seeing in Rayneo Air 2, this is an augmented reality glass and it can create 200 inch image like I showed you in versus to my 4k projector video it's around $400 roughly this is the type C converter it has the male HDMI port and type C power input as you can see and then only one type C output because it only works with a single cable which is this goes right behind your ear it's about one meter and this is the protective case that I use it it belongs to my Carrera sunglass this is the 2k um, portable LCD monitor from Uperfect that they send me for review and I still use it this is a 2k portable monitor very useful for my portable productivity setup but again instead of this you can go to that I will talk to you uh, all these probably in the conclusion section which is probably you already watched so if you watch this video until now, you're wondering, this is the keyboard, uh, K68. This is the box, K68. And you're going to be probably informed. The physical qualities and the sound, mechanical sound, is great. We have a 2.4 GHz sensor at the bottom, and we have also Bluetooth. So we got here, if I can get close, we got 2.4. Bluetooth 1, Bluetooth 2. So that means we can connect two different devices from Bluetooth, sync whenever we want, and we can go from one to another. So you can use multiple devices. That's one of the pluses. And you can also remove. I probably mentioned that. This is Galaxy S22 Ultra. This is the Rapu MT350. Here you can see the box of it. I haven't reviewed all these things by separately, one by one. This is a total video this accessory might you might need it this is type c to hdmi type a usb and type c power input so it could be useful if you're going to be using just with a tv or with a projector your phone i made a video about it this is the xbox series uh, x controller it's bluetooth so it works with pc also with android and ios so if you're going to use the same productivity rules to apply with the iphone 15 you're good to go so these are the hardware and last, lastly i want to show the mouse close-up this is the rapo mt350 i might create dedicated separate video for these two but basically this is like a logitech mx style pretty feeling and touchy good mouse everywhere is soft touch and everything feels like a, it means serious business so that's why i love about it feeling is overall good so this is the hardware version and at the back if you're wondering this is the geekom a8 ryzen 9 hs and these are the standard white keyboards the only problem with the leco cheaper keyboard and mouse combination i made a short video about this doesn't have bluetooth support it only has 2.4 gigahertz so i can use it with pc laptop or mac but i can't use it properly with android setup if i don't use such a stuff like if i use this hdmi converter then i can plug it on my 2.4 but bluetooth seems more flexible for many solutions okay that's why i gone bluetooth setup with this kind of like workflow this is the entire setup that you see through the video if you've seen the section then you already know what is what and what is not and i'm going to tell you how i use it so basically i got s22 ultra this is my smartphone and it has the capability of samsung dex mode which means on the right as you can see i'm going to take the mouse on my knees because it doesn't work on the glossy surface like this and i can play 
as you can see, YouTube videos. This is right now Jerry Rig Everything. And I can, in the meantime, read news and also email people. So I can really work productively. While I do that, what's this screen? This is a 2K screen, and you've seen it. I review this uh, portable screen for some reasons uh, that it really adds productivity setup. And it could be also a portable screen for your gaming console. If you're using an Xbox Series X, X, S, or PlayStation 5. What I do use it for, mostly, use it with my laptop to create a second workplace, like an extended screen for my Photoshop or Adobe Premiere workflow. So this is sometimes my main screen because it is 2K and it's giving me more work area and it's also 16 inch. So this could be your option if you're working too much with the laptop this will be ideal for you and if you're going to travel if you're going to take one power adapter and one keyboard mouse combination and the one external monitor you're good to go with your phone you can email anybody you can change the excel files you can attach files you can multitask with this so you can basically do all these things on a big scale screen like 16 inch instead of a small screen and you can type a lot faster with the keyboard when you're going to type long emails long detailed emails or you're going to create reports like excel files or um, powerpoint presentations but what i'm offering here another alternative i'm going to tell you the numbers in the end of this section and you're going to get a clear idea how much you have to spend one another and this is the Rainio Air 2 and you've probably seen my full review and it looks like a probably a regular sunglass from the front but on the side it's not just looks a little bit thicker but you got two OLEDs so you're going to get a 200 inch image wherever you look straight to this glass so if you don't want to carry a screen like this as you can see this is way smaller than a portable screen and it still gives us 120 Hertz full HD resolution and I can say that this since this has OLED screen and pretty much good pixel density you really can't uh, feel the differentiation between a screen like this and a screen like this even though this creates a much bigger screen you probably would an idea like in your head if you haven't used this I will probably see some pixelization no you won't really that, that that's interesting you feel like it's kind of like a 4K resolution, but it's not. It's plus 2K-ish on the feeling side. I'm not saying technical sides. It has two full HD screens. Your head just gets it together and match it up as a single image. So why do I recommend this? If you're traveling too much, you can watch anything wherever you go. And of course, this is way smaller uh, carrying instead of a screen like this. You can put it inside your pocket and you're good to go but it not it is not the same thing when you move your head when you're writing emails just it moves a little bit you know the screen shakes even though the pix, uh, visual that you see is not shaking too much but when you're moving your head you're also moving the screen so moving screen it's something interesting you have to get used to it otherwise this will bother you and i made it clear in my full dedicated review so what else do I have? I have a gamepad here, Xbox Series X gamepad, and I mentioned in the hardware section. You know why I choose this? You can choose Bluetooth other gamepads, but it works with the Xbox Series X, S, or any kind of like probably Xbox Series, if you don't go to the probably beginning of the uh, devices. But basically, it has the Bluetooth support, so you can use it with your PC. You can use it with your Xbox console. You can use it with your Android uh, probably dongle too and android smartphone and also android tablets and you can use it with ios devices so which means you got you can also use it probably macbooks too that makes it five different devices so bluetooth makes it more compatible than the other devices i suggest to get a xbox controller instead of the other ones so you got a variety of options i use this xbox series x controller with my geekom a8 mini PC over here. If you haven't seen it in my early videos, this 
is a palm size PC. This is a Ryzen 9 8945HS. Can you believe it? I made a dedicated review and I made it clear there that you can really do anything. I am editing my videos in this small PC. I am using most of the time with the TV, 4K QNET TV, as, as you can see here. So you'll get a great resolution, great, great workflow, huge screen on your, maybe probably from your couch, wherever you sit, and you can work very easy. The keyboard choice and the mouse choice, Bluetooth is again, connectivity issue. You can connect these two Bluetooth devices from any device, like tablets to phones, and also uh, probably consoles, some of the consoles also support. And also this keyboard has also 2.4 and the Bluetooth. So you got options. Again, the Rapu MT350 also has a sensor. So you don't have to use it only with uh, the Bluetooth support, but you can use it with 2.4 gigahertz too. So this mouse and keyboard reasoning, the keyboard is K68, okay, you can find it, K68. If you search mechanical keyboard, you can change any button from it. It, is, it has mechanical feeling like you can hear the click sound and it's giving you you know, old typewriter feeling and you feel every button. And it's also good gaming uh, keyboard, in my opinion. General, of course, will be the low latency. And the Rapo MT350 is well above the average from the spec. But of course, the price is near average. So it's not sponsored, okay? Just Rainio and the Uperfect screen send me these products for review. But I've created a whole setup for my general use so in this case how much it's going to cost you well uh, glass is going to cost from 399 to 450 dollars or depending on your region it might be a little higher but it is expensive double uh, from a 2k external pr uh, probably screen so if you're on a tight budget and you're looking for productivity Okay, on the go solution with much more experience, like a 200 inch image for cinema experience and also external monitor option where you can use anywhere. It is less expensive, but it's a little difficult to carry around. So you can count this about $200 roughly, depending on the spec that you buy, because mine is uh, 2K, but 60 Hertz, but there are two, 144 Hertz models, OLED models, and much more brighter models out there. So it's up to you. If you're going to game, your price could be uh, higher. If you're going to look for, look for 17 inch, maybe a smaller 13 inch, maybe ones with the touch support, then your price could change. But if you got a touch support, you can use your Android uh, phone right from this device. So that's another plus on the uh, screen side. But of course, price will differentiate if it's going to be having a touch support and also bigger size or OLED. And what else do I have? I need to remind you one thing. If you go above 14 uh, inch or 15.6 inch and full HD resolutions, like if you go 2K, 4K, your price is up. That's okay. That's acceptable. But you have to know one other thing. If you go high on the resolution and if you go high on the size, if the monitor is bright, your phone cannot support it. Right now, I am also giving the power from another Type-C port from my smartphone charger. So basically, if you go high on the specs, you cannot, maybe you won't be able to give signal from your phone directly with a one cable. You might need another external power source, just like a phone charger. So if you're going to travel, you need to, of course, carry a phone charger with you that might be, not be an issue, but if you forget about it, travel on a daily basis, like going onto a cafe and you want to just pull out your uh, screen and connect it to your phone, that might be an issue to get yourself closer to the power plug. So that's a, something that you need to know, but this only works from your smartphone power with the one Type-C cable because two OLEDs, very small, easy to carry. But you got yourself a 200 inch image. 200 inch let me just repeat it so what else do i have here i have a converter that you've seen the converter that i'm showing you here 
has one other purpose. If you want to drop down the price completely down, you can connect this to your phone and then get yourself a cheaper, like you've seen here, Leco brand, Leno designed by probably Lenovo. I've used it with my small PC, 2.4 gigahertz, and not expensive wireless keyboard and mouse combination. Put it here inside of a Type A port and connect your HDMI port to your TV and Type C port to charge your phone and you're good to go. Then you converted your phone into the production machine you need right from the comfort of your couch and your TV. And you can do the similar with probably 90% of the hotels that you travel because hotels have LCD TVs. You only need to carry an HDMI cable to connect your uh, hardware to a TV that you got from the hotel or, you know, the household. So basically, sorry about the voice. Basically, you are going to be, let's just kill the voice here and use the, okay, I'm going to, yep. I've silenced my phone, I guess. Let me just check it again. Okay, I've silenced the phone again. So basically, what you are having here, a lot cheaper solution. This will probably cost you around 20 bucks, maybe 30 bucks, depending on where you buy it. 30 bucks for just a converter to HDMI Type-C, Type-A. And you're going to need to carry your, of course, power adapter and the Type-C power cable, HDMI cable. Two cables, one converter, and one power adapter. That's it. So that this is the lowest cost that you can get. If you already have the adapter, this will cost you $25, including the HDMI cable. You're good to go around $30, maybe $35, and convert your phone into a PC. And if you have the option, if you haven't checked that out, let me just show it from here. Open up the... Play Store. Right now, I don't know if the device is connected. Let me just check. Okay. Right now, it's in the Bluetooth 1 mode. And I'm not sure if it's going to work. If I synchronize it, let me just check it. You need to call... Connected very easy. Right now it's connected to Rappu and I'm checking the hardware that I got. It's pretty easy. Let's see. K68 5.0, Bluetooth 5.0. One of the reasons that I chose that I forgot about it, this has the Bluetooth 5.0. It's right now connecting. Let me just check. Couldn't connect. I'm just opening it up. And, sorry, connected. Okay, right now I am connected. So that's one of the reasons. Bluetooth 5.0 gives it a lot less latency. So let's take a look at uh, NVIDIA. NVIDIA GeForce Now, if you haven't no, checked that out. NVIDIA GeForce Now, it already happened on the screen. What you're seeing is... NVIDIA's mobile game solutions. Let me just open it up. And by the way, you're seeing how much multitasking that I got. Right now, I have more than 50 tabs, maybe 20 tabs here. Most of the time, I use with 80 tabs. Galaxy S22 Ultra can handle it. So what we have with GeForce Now, if you install it, okay, GeForce Now will give you a dedicated machine Okay, dedicated hardware, if you install it, you're going to be able to play from a cloud from another PC. Let me just put it like this. You're going to pay monthly fee, if you don't know the setup, to NVIDIA. And NVIDIA gives you, probably with a card, good GPU, like 4090 or 4080 GPU, which is very expensive, dedicated PC to you on the cloud base. When you log in from your phone and your account, you're going to be able to play the latest PC games with the top-notch graphics. The only thing that you need to have is a good internet connection wherever you go. If you have that, you're going to be able to connect the gamepad 
and play the games just like a proper console wherever you want to go. So this setup could change into a huge gaming solution wherever you want to go. Of course, you need a gamepad. I don't know the Xbox uh, Series X gamepad prices, but it's probably around 50 to 70, 100 dollars, depending on the spec that you purchase. Like there are different alternative brands. So all these things will increase the setup that you use, how you use, how you how you can enhance your smartphone. But the last question is important: Is your smartphone going to be supporting Type C? To HDMI or Type-C to these output setups. Well, if you're going to have, a, let's just say, primary phones like a A-class phones, okay, when they first launch, let's take in, into consideration when S22 Ultra launched. This was the most expensive Samsung phone on the market. Right now we got S24 and S25 or maybe 26. I don't know the model name, but will be on, um, launched soon so when they are on the sale it will be the latest phone so if you purchase the latest phone from the samsung or many of the high-end android market brands you're going to be probably most likely to have type c to hdmi uh, support but you can google it by asking a question to google your phone model such as realme 12 pro has a h MHL or HDMI support or type C to HDMI support then you're going to get a, probably some kind of uh, information from forums and maybe even the manufacturer's website but I have given the realme or Xiaomi example because many of the people are asking like a uh, uh, solutions uh, because if you think about it, MTK chipsets, most of the time, if it's lower end, don't support the HDMI uh, output. So if you need a HDMI support, you need to go Snapdragon or Exynox style uh, high end CPUs and GPUs. If you don't have that, you probably don't have the type C to HDMI output. So whenever you want to check that out, go Google it. I will write down a couple of search words. So you can really search your phone and is it going to be supporting M MHL or HDMI. Even the old Samsung Note 3, uh, I guess Samsung Note 2 and 3, I've used them. They were supporting with MHL to micro USB to HDMI converters. So even if you go way back, your phone probably supported. But if you're going to stick it from this type C, then you got potential and need a type c device so you need like s8 maybe s9 samsung on the samsung side you can also do similar stuff with the htc maybe if they have the new models nokia models maybe i don't know maybe some asus models too asus so many of the phones might support but most importantly iphones latest iphones iphone 15 is supporting to type c output so if you need such a stuff you got to check it before all the things that I showed you in this video can be similarly done with an iPhone 15, 15 Pro models and probably late uh, after, uh, iPhone 16 is coming up. So the only thing that you need to look out, uh, iPhone might not support some of the keyboards if you're going to use the um, 2.4, but most of the time iPhone, I, I, if I remember correctly, supports it. But in, just in case, go for Bluetooth keyboards and mouse. But when you go Bluetooth, keyboard and mouse your bluetooth keyboard and mouse price will be a lot higher than 2.4 wireless reason that i'm telling you go wireless since this is a mobile solution it's easy to put it in a bag to carry around it's easy to get a smaller keyboard you can also get something like a touchpad like a keyboard and touchpad combination there are solutions like that you can also try them out that would be on your setup feels like more you know couch usable but I most of the time prefer mouse instead of a touchpad. So it's up to you. Later on, maybe I will convert this to a touchpad and keyboard solution combination. Let me know what you think at the comment section below. Uh, none of these hardwares are like uh, sponsored, but most of the time, in my opinion, my hardware choice are correct. Whenever I go easy of travel, I go with the Rainio Air 2 glass. But if I'm going to 
work with my laptop and create designs like uh, Premiere Pro and work on the go like emails, lots of stuff. So I choose the monitor and laptop combination. It's up to you how you're going to work. You can also use the TVs that you got if you need to be very light on your travel. If you're going to travel long time, long distances, and if you're going to carry your bag, that's an important topic. I hope this video helped. And you can use all these things with your projector too. Since this is a home cinema and tech review channel, you can, instead of using this screen or the Rainio Air 2, you can connect your phone to the projector. I made a dedicated video about it. I don't want to repeat myself to show it to you like that. But you can use this setup just like that. I hope this video gave you some imaginative potential uh, solutions that you can create for yourself. Let me know what you think at the comment section below. I hope to see you in the next video, Home Cinema and Tech Review. And don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. Just say hi at the comment sections because YouTube love comments. And if you have recommendation like hardware, different hardware that you use, similar purpose, write down at the comment section below. That will be helping the other people. Hope to see you in the next video, Home Cinema and Tech Review. Until the next one, hoşçakalın.